here's what it looks like on. A couple of months ago, I bought a vintage Burberry scarf from an Etsy seller in Malaysia. The seller seemed to specialize in vintage scarves, ranging from Hermes to Givenchy to Chanel and Gucci and plenty more. The prices of these vintage scarves ranged from $15 to $20 US dollars for non-designer brand silk scarves, all the way up to $100 to $250 US dollars for the very top brand, Hermes. I was especially interested in the cashmere and lamb's wolf Burberry scarves because of the cold weather in Australia lately. My mum also happens to be really into scarves so I've always just kind of kept tabs. I was especially interested in this seller because of their consistent and clean photos and the many good reviews and repeat customers and just the sheer variety of designer scarves. I mean look at that. Of course, a part of me was also wondering whether these scarves were authentic, given the amazing prices. You know what they say, like, when something's too good to be true. There was one particular grey one that really got my attention. It was a 12 inch by 52 inch grey Novacek 100% cashmere Burberry scarf. The listing and photos showed that it had two little holes, but the overall condition was very good and it still had the care tag attached. Now at $33 with free shipping, it was just too good to pass up, even with the risk of it being fake. But I still wanted to make sure to the best of my ability before I commit to buying. But you know what you should commit to? Clicking that red subscribe button and while you're there you can click the bell icon as well and give me a thumbs up if you love vintage pieces too. Anyway, something I noticed was that in the photos the tag said Burberry's with an S instead of the well-known Burberry. <laughs> Burberry. Naturally that made me curious and before I knew it I was down the rabbit hole searching up the history of Burberry. One of the keywords I searched for was Burberry Scarf Vintage Label. And it turns out that Burberry has gone through quite a few changes since its inception in 1856 when it was founded by Thomas Burberry. The company officially changed its name from Burberry's to Burberry in the late 1990s. So this means that the scarf in question was at least 30 years old. Truly vintage. The exact version of my scarf's tag popped up on one blog, except their scarf was in lamb's wool instead of cashmere. But the tag color, material, font, and stitching all matched up. Another thing I looked up was verified vintage Burberry scarves on the site Vestia Collective. The scarves listed on there are apparently checked and verified by experts. So I assume they know what they're talking about. I compared the pictures of the same scarf with the pictures provided on the Etsy site and it checks out. By now the situation was looking really promising. I was like 80% convinced and at $33 with free shipping, how could I not? So I made the plunge, I bought it and then the wait began. It took around two months for it to get to Australia from Malaysia, but that's understandable given the slow mail that's happening all around the world right now. Guys, I'm so pleased. It is stunning. Feels so soft to the touch. Despite being secondhand and vintage, it didn't have, you know, any old musty smell. Of course, there were the two holes. I think they're moth-bitten holes. But it was stated in the original listing so it didn't come as a surprise and it's actually not really noticeable when wearing it. Here's one hole and where's the other hole? With the scarf in my hands now, literally, I decided to do some more research because why not? I looked up general things to look out for to check whether it's authentic and one thing that came up was the Novacek which is the pattern. All Burberry scarves should have symmetrical stripes that line up horizontally and vertically. And yep, it does. The check here 
and the check here is symmetrical and same with here and here. I also found a Reddit thread where someone found a vintage Burberry scarf for 99 cents. Crazy, right? But anyway, the poster assumed it was fake and posted their find along with a picture of the scarf on the subreddit thrift store hauls. This scarf was the exact same as mine. The style, the tag, and the material, cashmere. You can see that the stitching here is in like a beige color, and then the thing that's attaching it to the scarf is beige and blue. Burberries with that S, 100% cashmere, dry clean only, made in England. Now, interestingly, the comments all deemed it as real, saying that vintage Burberry is not often faked. Someone else raised the question of why it would be faked, and OP replied that it retails for $500 now, and Burberry is faked a lot, which is true. But another user brought up an interesting fact that actually Burberry wasn't really considered a luxury brand at the time. And it wasn't marketed as high fashion until the 1990s, probably aligning with the period when the company changed its name from Burberry's to Burberry. It was well made and likely only cost the equivalent of 50 bucks new, implying that there was no need to create fakes at the time, so that's why it's almost certainly real. After reading that, I'm like 98% certain that it is indeed an authentic piece. And I'm so happy about my purchase. Of course, there are a lot of fakes of designer brands out there. So make sure you do a lot of research before buying, especially if you're after an authentic vintage piece. I'm going to show you some close-ups of it now so you can have a look for yourself. Comment down below if you think it's a real vintage Burberry, or if not, if you think it's fake, comment why you think it's fake. Also tell me your stories of any vintage finds that you've made, whether it was online or in person. I can imagine how exciting it would be in person. Subscribe for more fashion and lifestyle content from me, and see you guys next time!